Hello family, how are you all doing this Saturday beautiful morning at 11.24 Eastern Standard Time here in Atlanta, Georgia and across the highways, byways and the global world. I'm coming to you because like I said, I got to come to and talk to my family about things that's going on over here in Atlanta, Georgia or down south, how we like to say it, just to give y'all a close up and good feel take on my perspective because i live here born and raised here and i can tell you ain't nothing but a full of shit going on out there people still hoarding toilet paper my cousin called me from i don't know if anybody knows this but you know when you're in atlanta you be going 20 east towards augusta um uh, what do you call that place everybody go um what do you call it? Lake Oconee. You know, but it's going towards Augusta, going out of town when you're going in, coming into the heart of Atlanta. But they stay down that way. And they were telling me some people from Georgia up here in Atlanta coming down there in their little town, which is my mama's uh, stomping ground when she was a kid. Terra Ferro County is right across the street or it's in the same area or vicinity of Sparta, Georgia. You know, where they made all those, um, what do you call it, in the heat of the night movies. Uh, a lot of filming going down there about the old deep south. Uh, and you will probably catch it when they're doing like slavery pictures and stuff like that. That's where they come and get a lot of footage here uh, in Terra Ferro, uh, Crawfordville, Georgia. Y'all may know of. That's my mama hometown in Sparta, Georgia. Um, and then you'll go into Savannah where they'll take you to some more deep city woods where they film for old slavery time pictures and stuff of that nature. If you get into it. I ain't getting into it because I ain't trying to go back there. I never was in it. Never was involved in it. And I don't think my generation would even go for it. I mean, we're in this type of slavery now where we're getting hit with the money. You know, and the positions and, you know, how far you can go. You know, that glass ceiling. So that's kind of discrimination of kind of the slavery going on. But not that kind where we toe, co toe cow coon and all that kind of stuff and don't have an opinion. We got to look down instead of up at our uh counterparts of not of our color you understand what i'm saying get it got it good but i just can't have to say hey fam <laughs> let y'all know i'm still breathing i'm still living i'm still making it do what it do up here in this corona time of need and challenges because i told girl my hairdresser called me and i knew it was gonna be this i knew it because i I knew it was going to be the same thing that I probably would, would do to protect my family. Because I used to go, well, I used to do my own hair. And then I started getting a little more arthritis in my hands and, and carpet tunnel syndrome. And then y'all know I just had this injury with my, uh, what do you call it, my shoulder and my rib. So I'm kind of like incapacitated somewhat of, of, of sorts, okay? So, you know, it was time to redo my twist, this, that, and third. And my daughter called, could we go to the same lady? And honey, she told me, uh -uh, I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. I stopped doing hair last week, honey. No, can't do it, can't do it. And even the uh, school she goes to for her cosmetology degree where she's getting ready to graduate and all that good stuff, trying to build up her clientele on the side. Child, she said, I ain't even open. I said, oh, Lord. But, you know, hey, got it good. I don't want nobody to get sick. I want somebody, everybody to stay at home if they must. I'm like, God, what am I going to do with my hair? I guess I'm going to have to wear an afro. I ain't shame. No shame in my game. I will hook it up, okay? But that's pretty much what she told me. Nah, baby, I'm down and out. And she's a school bus driver, too, so she's been out uh, because the school system been out. But she was trying to make ends meet and this, that, and third by still doing hair on the side. But, honey, you see how these folks hooked up like they in some kind of Ebola crisis type of movie. Now, if they were in all that PPE, meaning protective, uh, wait a minute, protective equipment, something, protection. Shit, what is PPE, y'all? Protective something equipment. I get it probably once this taping is over with. But, yeah, they dressed up from head to toe and then they tell us we just got to wear a mask. I'm like, what? Is that an end? 95 masks we talking about are the plain masks we use for allergy season and when we out there gardening come on now so do we need to be dressed like them or something i don't understand they i mean they up like they finna do battle with this coronavirus got these shields going on got the n95 masks going on it just seems like i'm being held hostage the whole world the whole america the united states is held hostage because we don't know what's going on they got on some of these uh people that have large lots of land they've been told that the government needs some of their lands and they put those makeshift army tents around here you know what I'm 
like, okay, what are we doing here? Are we getting a nasal swab? Are we getting the mouth swab? And y'all drawing blood. What's going on? I don't understand. Okay, how deadly is this shit going on? I mean, are y'all telling us the truth? And we got our mayor, Keisha Lamb Bottoms. And we got our governor, Kemp, running around him saying half ass truth. And then got that uh, doctor that's supposed to be the uh, forefront of everybody. And we're supposed to listen to her, uh, Miss Toomey. I don't know if she's telling me the truth. And when she was asking, they were asking her questions on our uh, news stations. Uh, trying to two five eleven and some more people. They were sitting up there. She was sitting up there like all cavalier, all sitting up there like, don't worry, everything be fine. Like she, you know, she in Donald Trump pocket. I was like, I, I, I don't believe you either. Let me turn the station. And that's all I got was her on it because they was featuring her on all our local channels on uh, Thursday night. And I was like, okay, what what do these tents look like? They need to be in the army somewhere where they training. You know, for their first six weeks of uh training to see if they really can take being in the service. What are you trying to say? I'm I understand. This shit is realer than what we thought it was. Okay, so why do you post out him? Even when I go to work in the morning, I'm seeing like young kids that should be in high school, but you know they got the part and they got to stay at home, do the online learning things of that nature. Got uh, uh little young women that look like they need to be in high school and maybe they first year of college running around him, no mask, no kind of protective gear, jogging. Like it's just, woo, I'm, I'm alive, I'm young, I'm invincible. I'm like, what kind of shit is this? I thought they said for the people that were at home to stay their asses at home. If you must come out, go to the grocery store or if you got to go to a doctor's appointment, get your protective gear on and get your ass back in the house pretty much. Get your ass back in the house. All right. And if you got to come out, you got a little land on the outside in the backyard. Walk around, jog around that. But don't be out there in the parks, in the street, jogging, having a carefree life. Like you ain't going to let nothing stop you. Well, if your ass gets sick three weeks down the road, then you ain't got nobody to blame yourself. Okay. Don't look for pity or anything because people have been telling y'all to stay y'all asses in the house. If you want to go sit in your backyard on your front porch and your front part of your house, do that. Stay out there for a little bit. Not not the whole day. Okay, don't even do no gardening out there. If your grass is grown like maybe, what, two, three feet, go and cut that real fast and get your behind back in the house. Okay? They're saying this to say it for a reason, people. Not for you to congregate and do what you want to do. And then you want to flood all these hospitals or the urgent care sites talking about uh, I didn't think it was that serious. What the hell you think then? Okay. Use your common sense. But anyway, that was my rant. Now I'm going to tell you or, or get into what the DeKalb, I live in DeKalb, okay? And uh, Gwinnett County has issued orders for the residents to stay at home. Now again, we're considered the type of work I'm into is essential. I'm going to be out there until we get one case in our particular office. One case of coronavirus. I'm at home working. Okay. And I'm just waiting, waiting, praying for that one time for somebody to get it. Okay. Not saying I want them to get it, but it is what it is. You saw they, they supposed to be doing these testing sites. And this is how they, they dressed up. What the hell is that? And then this little tank army type of uh, facility. I don't know if they got state prisoners there or they transferring army folks in those to come and take control of the scene because of course you know folks ain't following directions now i don't understand now that's our mayor uh keisha lance bottoms and you know she's calling for she's doing a better job than our governor uh kemp out here okay now see i now i can understand that type of protective gear but then you see those pictures that they have floating up here in atlanta when they're broadcasting then you have people looking like him but he's spraying stuff you know so i can get him being in that protective equipment uh safety measures and these are the makeshifts uh where they don't got a gym or a, a we call it uh um high school where well, they don't turn it into a makeshift that's our governor governor Kemp up there he doing a piss ass poor job and that woman over there standing next to him she told me she's supposed to be the, like the leader of the medical uh people where they take her 
discretion or they take her lead way of what she wants to have done how she's saying things and that particular uh, video or slide is telling you the cares that what they're supposed to be trying to give us for being off okay we're gonna flash it back up there because i know some people need to know because i know i needed to know and that's what i was looking at but you see how this man here this is one of our hospitals y'all sitting up there okay that was the care act where if you're an adult i guess taxpayer you get one uh, 1200 if you have a couple they get 2400 and then you get plus if you have any children 500 per child okay and then you know if you make um you have some reduction in income of 75k but if you make over 99k and up, you ain't getting no payout because you should be able to take care of yourself but i don't know i, I tell you it seems like everybody need it not i mean those who have much much to expect i understand but you never know what kind of lifestyle they live in and with them not getting any pay you know it just is what it is but yeah that's somehow some of our facilities are looking in there you see how they dress and i'm like damn y'all act like this is some serious shit you know like you're going there messing with them deadly viruses and you you have to have that uh, protective gear. How they be head to toe. Like if in a fight something real deadly. But they ain't giving it to the people. All the hospital workers. You see what I'm saying. They need to be protected too. So I, I really don't think they're doing as much as they could be doing. I think they're looking at the president. And all his actions. And then some of his people don't went and, and, and turn tail. Because they're like they ain't finna uh, risk their um their professional careers to get with this president that might be up there another four years and might not it don't matter but they uh livelihood got to go on even with this man still in uh, the presidency or not okay even if he's here on this earth in four or five more years or not they have to uh have a conscience they have to have uh, the, uh what do you call it they have to be here to face people and look at people in their faces when they know they could have did better by providing better health care than what they were doing at the time and see that that won't be talking out the side of her neck she she wouldn't give no definitive answer when people were asking her straightforward questions she was going you know all of behind the scenes kemp was pretty much doing the same thing i'm like we need to get in a situation where everybody comes to one consistency one consensus consensus and and, and, and do the thing let everybody stay at home. If it ain't nothing but for two weeks, let it shut all the shit down. Except for the hospitals, okay? Even the uh, urgent care center, shut them down. And have that staff go over to the major hospitals, okay? Because we, we really need to get ahead of this. Or a hand on this. Because we can't get ahead of it no more. Because it don't left the gates before we could even try to secure what we were letting off the gates. Letting out of the gates, okay? But anyway, uh... We go on to read this, okay? It says uh, on Friday, the cab and Gwinnett counties, that's here in Atlanta, issued order for residents to stay at home in response to the growing COVID nineteen pandemic. Demic. Now, as I said, most it's just like warehouse. Well, then, damn, it ain't the warehouse people because they still working too. Because I know some folks in the warehouse, know some people in FedEx and um, UPS, they still driving them damn trucks and, and they still making deliveries. So I don't know who they saying because all the people that I know that are definitely out or people that working for the airlines because one of my uh daughter's girlfriends works they furlough her for furlough it's another way of saying temporarily laid off and um you know the people for us, us going out as consumers taking part of entertainment such as shows concerts uh, going to the movies um, going out to eat those service type workers those are shut down pretty much but you know other everyday joe people professional people they still going out there working you know what i'm saying you got to do what you got to do so i'm like how are we going to get a control control of it i say we get control of it by every family getting tested okay just send them a kit or how many people they said they got in their house do the test and then you can say okay <laughs> y'all stay in the house okay yeah don't go nowhere okay don't go nowhere okay but that's just how i feel and how I'm, I'm looking at things then we got going back to the article it says the cap county ceo michael thurman issued the shelter in place order it says individuals are permitted to leave their places of residence only to provide or receive certain essential services or engage in certain essential activities and work for essential businesses and essential governmental functions according to the press release all this essential is getting on my nerves okay it's because it's really playing with words just say who get to go 
to work and who need to stay at home. That's what I want. A listing of uh, jobs, their descriptions, and that they need to stay the hell at home. Okay. And the government will take care of them, which means the taxpayers at some point will have to give up more money to allocate to those people that uh, had businesses, but they couldn't operate due to the fact of this coronavirus. Okay. And um, that's just my sidebar wasn't in there. Okay. In this article. Then it goes on to say the order, which applies to all county residents, goes into effect at 9 p.m. Saturday until further notice. Now, I know two weeks ago we were just on uh, voluntary type curfews, meaning do the best you can. We think you're responsible and you're going to do right. So we're going to have to, like, mandate it. God dog it. Two weeks later, they didn't mandate. See, they should have put the shit in mandating two weeks ago. Because they knew we weren't going to act right. Even though we grow up, we become adults. Hell of us, some of us still act like kids. You know what I'm saying? Like we never damn grow up. Or we grow up to a certain degree and then we want to act petty and, and do crazy shit. Like get on these reality TV shows, make uh, ungodly worth of money and just show our asses okay pretty much you telling a child to grow up act right and then they get to an adulthood they still acting like children you wonder where we went wrong okay you wonder where we went wrong mainly because adults are still acting like children 98 percent of us are 98 percent okay those are just my stats don't quote me on it all right but then it goes on to say um well the article goes on to say we are trying to save lives from the serious covid19 public health threat thurman said in a statement and gwinnett border commissioners chairman cat charlotte nash and the mayors of the county's 16 cities issued stay-at-home orders for their jur jurisdictions according to a press release under the orders gwinnett residents may leave their homes to conduct activities that are essential uh, to their own health and safety and that of family, household members, partners, significant others, and pets. And according to the press release, essential activities include but are not limited to getting food, getting medication, getting medical supplies, household consumer supplies, health care services, or caring for a family member or a pet in another household. Now see how they broke that down as far as essential in activities including that's what they need to say be more specific when they're talking about essential job titles and who gets to stay at home who don't get to stay at home don't put it on a broad umbrella or don't put it on a big umbrella and have these sub jobs tell us which jobs of any profession out there that needs to stay their asses at home versus the ones that are considered essential that need to go to work okay that's just my sidebar. Okay. The order, the Gwinnett order says people can engage in outdoor activities like walking, running, or bicycling, but they must comply with social distancing requirements. See, that's what I'm saying. This walking, running, bicycling, hell no. Because if everybody started having to have to go to the doctor, and I mean everybody. From your infant babies down to your your grandmama half, grandfather half, six feet under, okay? Putting them in the grave. Don't need to be outside. See, that's what I'm saying, the misinformation, the miscommunication. Because, you know, people are going to try to walk with other people. People are going to try to run with other people. And they damn sure are going to be trying to bicycle and and with other people so where's the social distancing coming in tell me tell me because i want to know all right then we got this local emergency orders in effect from 12 uh 01 a.m saturday through 11 59 p.m april 13th or until it is extended rescinded su superseded or amended in writing by the chairman according to the press release now again see what i'm saying about that foolish fraudulent fuckery uh, fake news they giving us even on your uh social media platform they giving half truths okay so i don't know what to tell you we're still in deep shit in atlanta okay if anybody don't want to tell you i'm telling you we're still in deep shit we're still running out of meat we're still running out of bread uh, we still got people still trying to do what they want to do. They still in them streets because they're reporting it on news. That folks still in them streets. Okay. So I'm like when they start imposing fines. Okay. Monetary fines. I guess that's going to stop them. Or unless people start dropping out like flies. You know what I'm saying? You see how that empty building. That's how some of the empty buildings are downtown as well as in uh, the Decatur area. 
uh, that I've been going to because I ain't been trying to go out too far nowhere, okay? Because I'm trying to pay uh, my respects and trying to do what they're asking me to do. But it just is what it is. I just wanted to catch up with you guys, tell y'all what's going on in my neck of the woods. And if anything is going on in you all's neck of the woods where you don't live in Atlanta, hit me down in the comments. Tell me because a sister want to know. Because I can't get the truth from this news and shit. I need to get it from somebody that's living in whatever state and tell me what they are doing. Okay? What, what, what going on in y'all state that y'all could tell me? Because, see, I trust you. I trust y'all. I don't trust these folks. Okay? Okay, that's what it means. I had to look it up. PPE, personal protective equipment. That's what it is. PPE, protective or personal protective equipment. But, yeah, and what y'all think about those folks, uh, the stats that they gave us when it came to uh, how the money is being divided up? And when are we going to get that money and all that kind of stuff? And what are you going to do with that money? Are you going to save that money for harder times that they say we're going to have? Because they said this is going to be worse than what it is now. So I'm like, okay, it's going to be worse than what it is now. Hmm, how are we going to handle that when we can't even handle what we're going through now? You see what I'm saying? How can we handle what we are meant to see worse than what we got going on now? I don't know. I don't know, fam. I don't know. But y'all tell me if y'all live in other states, other countries, what's going on in y'all neck of the woods? Because I want to know. But I don't want to say thank you, Beatrice Holland, for stopping by, putting your two cents in. She said, Heavenly has a big mouth and serves no purpose on the show, but run that mouth in everyone else's business. I don't know. I know that's right, girl. Telling everybody business itself her own. Cause I don't know why she don't need Toya right, I mean, Toya uh, Bush Harris alone. I don't know why she don't just leave them alone. Okay, they don't do what they want to do. They're going to uh, live how they want to live. Damn, do you, Dr. Heavenly. Do you. Okay, so I agree with you, Bill Island girl. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you, my PM Patricia Kaysen, giving me everything. Okay, giving me everything I want to read. Thank you for telling me about the car title. Love you down. Yes, I'll share Atlanta with you, honey. I'll share Atlanta with you. If you want them with him for two minutes, okay. I could say you're a little half native, okay. But I give you a pass because you're part of the family affair. And I have to teach you how to be southern. <laughs> okay, and have our southern drawl. Even though sometimes people think I'm from the north, which I don't know why. But anyway, this is what it is, okay. But thank you, girl, PM. Patricia Case for always showing me your love. Okay, Lady uh, Gee, thank you. And you're right. Where did they get those women from? Say, Satan or hell? Can't imagine them without makeup. <laughs> no, they don't want too much makeup. And that's why they have that defined look that makes them have to put on makeup. Because they wear it so heavy, so deep. And, you know, that's her end result. But uh, I agree with you. I don't know what they... Well, they came, they saw, and they conquered. They wanted much more than what their professional uh, fields give them and pay them. Okay? Versus going on a show, signing up for so many episodes, and getting paid severe lucrative money and i just don't understand that how good became bad how bad became good i don't i don't understand it girl i'm still living through it okay but thank you lady gee for coming by g thank you Ma um was it marlon mallory female honey you a little burning tonight girl i guess i guess i was last night behind when i get heated when i get passionate about a specific uh, a specific topic of discussion girl i can be setting sparks bombs uh whatever you want to throw firecrackers i could get going over him because i know i need, need the family to pull me back sometimes you know marisol pmp casing um let me see rita hopkins uh banana adam banana avw it's a amy vw they get me straight and I, I, I know I'm leaving out uh, a few. I think it's Carla Wright being there sometime. Or Carla Williams. They be trying to hold me back, girl. And I be wanting them to hold me back. I be ready to go off. You know what I'm saying? But that's just how I am sometimes. I'm sorry. Um, Sonya Harrison. Thank you for stopping by, baby. And, sh and she said, I agree with you 100%. She is doing what most women who are insecure, who would do anything for a man because she thinks he would take her back. That's some uh, video I had uh, dedicated to Kenya Moore upsets the team twirlers. And that's right. It's not just Kenya Moore. It's women like her. You know what I'm saying? You could go all day bringing down a woman. I don't care what race they in, but we would bring, women would bring down women 
every day, all day. But when it's time to bring down a man or men, oh, they skating around, they walking on eggshells and all that shit. I like, now, nah, then it get them the same energy that you try to get that female over there. You try to set that female straight from head to toe. Go on and slam that man from head to toe verbally, okay? If y'all get the physical, you know, you, you, you're going against gravity, but it just is what it is, okay? But, yeah, Sonya Harrison, I totally agree with you, too. And special K meals number one. Hey, girl, girl. I told you, you got to take me in small doses. When I get to going, my mouth get to flapping. And, you know, y'all can't stop me. I'm just going to put out what I put out. And I told you, take it in small doses. But I love you. Thank you for coming by. You know, telling me to get to the tea. <laughs> It's going to be a few videos out there because Lord knows I have my day ones. And it seems like you becoming one of my day ones to have to bring me back and say, Damn, Deb. Just get in the comments and say, Damn, Deb. You're talking. You're talking a little bit longer than we anticipated. Something like that. I, you know, I get you. I got you good. But, you know, sometimes I'm still going to do what I got to damn do. Okay? But love you, love you, love you. Keep watching. Okay? Keep um putting in your comments and stuff because I do read them. Okay? And my Marisol girl, it's ghost without saying thank you for being here with me, my sister. Okay? Um, Let me see. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Doreen Rose, hello. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sonny Dillard. And I think I'm going over from yesterday. Yes, I am. So, blessings be to you all. Y'all stay safe. Try to stay inside as much as you can. Do as much as you can for yourself. Don't go out trying to venture. and Because and, and, you never know who got it. And some of us don't know. That's what I'm saying. Every household need to have a set of tests of who are. They worry about damn census. Sending you these census packets. Wanting to know who in your household and make it better for your community. And this, that, and third. Hey, what would make us better? You send us them tests. Okay. Let us forget that goddamn census, okay? Because it, it ain't gonna be nobody out here. Y'all keep playing around. Send us some tests so we can test ourselves, so we can tell our bosses, uh uh, got the corona. We'll be doing what they tell me to do. I will get back with you on uh day's progression of what's going on okay that's what we need we don't need no damn census being sent to our house telling us who is in your house and this that and third we already know who was in our house and things of that nature okay send us some tests okay send us some tests so we can be tested so we can live a little longer if we can or if it's called depopulation are y'all trying to depopulate us or whatever the earth and everybody that's within it until y'all get it down to that certain degree of people y'all want up in him ted turner i'm just saying but anyway that's all i got bill gates okay that's all i got for this video guys y'all get down in them comments let me know what y'all thought about subject matter get in there and tell me how y'all feeling what y'all doing how y'all experiencing life as it is today uh and i'll see y'all next video okay blessings